Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to use XML RPC in the Postman to integrate with the Odoo. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to do crude operations using the XML RPC, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under the playlist, you can see Odoo development level and you can see here different playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test test and if you want to learn more about xml rpc concepts please check this playlist this is the special episode for the xml rpc so let's back to our main topic like how we can integrate odoo using the xml rpc using the postman so in this discussion we are going to only discuss with this authentication in the postgres so here the first thing is we have to use this URL, username, password and database name, right, to call this URL. So the full URL, it would be this one, full URL, right, like this, slash XML RPC and common. So this common route, it will help to authenticate to the Odoo. So for that, like I already activated the Odoo service in this 8069 port number and which is running in my local system. So, and here I will try to create a new request. And simple, I will try to paste here this URL, okay and this is not the get but the post. So this is the first thing. The second thing is like the you, uh, username, password in the database name, right? So we have to pass like this. So first thing is we have to call this login method, right? So for that, we have to write down some XML things in this body. So for that, you can go to the body row and simple, you can choose here the XML. And after that, you can just use here, let's say method call right so this is the main tag of the xml side and the sub tag is method name which is login and you have to finish this tag and after that you can see here under this login we have to pass the parameter right the database name username and the password so for that, you can pass here the params, right? Like this way. And simple, you can just pass here like the first param. Like three parameters you have to pass, right? Why three? Because you can see here, we pass here three parameters. The database name, username and the password, right? So the first parameter is the database name. So let me copy this Odoo 161 and I will paste here in the first parameter. After that, the second parameter is the username and third one is the password or the API key, right? And simple, you can send and you can see here it's failed like a login missing three required positional arguments, DB login and the param. So we did some mistake. So let's find out. So here I have done one mistake, which is this one, like here, sorry, uh, I have to typecast actually, like which, data I'm passing. So right now I'm passing as a, in, as a string, right? So I have to pass here the string like this and after that you can see here the status is also 200 okay right and you can see here it will return as xml and it's written as an integer value and the value is the 2 right so let's do with the demo user demo demo right so you can say successfully written as a six, that means it's successfully authentication is done. For example, let's say I will try to do like password is wrong. 
now you can see it's written as a boolean false right now let's say uh, there is a one more scenario right you can see here like in the preferences security and I will try to create here new key like testing and I will simple copy this key right and simple I will try to paste here and this key is only for the admin right and now you can see successfully written as an integer value right and simple let's I will try to replace with the demo user and I'm using the admin key now you can see here it's false return admin so it's successfully written right and in case I'm trying to do like any anything else here by mistakely let's say log something like this I'm mistakely write down the method name right you can see here for the letter the method not found and this is the method and you can see the list of such error message also written right since so you can use here the correct username and password and the method okay so this is the first method we successfully authenticated using the postman now in our next session we are trying to do some crude operations using the postman all right so if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session